I said, you see, this man leads the ruling party, and I am a party chairman, and I, the political leader, and we are friendly. Then what's wrong with you? And one of the situations was the first time actually coming in close contact with Morgan Moon. He said, it's a whole the chairman, as you see. So I'm saying this so that people learn from it. Being openness does not to not turn into enmity. I know a couple in America that they bring violence. And we who are political leaders of different parties sign memorandum of understanding and pledge to promote peace, even as we are going towards election. So that my mission is this afternoon to educate you. But I have an additional information to give. I think you heard on, on school TV, with a school saying, because of going and nowhere, telling my people on school TV, because there two percent, it was raised by Eugene Fagor, who is the spokesperson for Jay Wakai uh, on Sport TV. And of course, Sport TV is largely union party, the pro union party, party media institution. So they associated this basically, oh, that man is not going anywhere. How do people think that a lawyer like me, I'm not the best lawyer, but I don't count myself among the worst lawyers. And I've been president of the bar. I must have some legal knowledge. I teach law as an assistant professor of law. I teach, I even teach at the police academy when they call me any time for free. Even the current police director of my student, I taught him many years ago on legal freedom for police. So how would I be in the process of doing that legally and bond. So something was wrong with them to think that. And they were even actually uh, succeeding in persuading people to go away from me. Actually, LPP could have filled that 60 to 70 uh, uh, legislative aspirants. But those statements they made discourage a lot of people to not show that LPP will participate in the election because they are doing so. So somebody listening to them I believe a pro United Party person, they call it Augustus Dakar uh, Jones. I think he'd be here with uh, Augustus Dakar Jones. What's the action for something? He actually filed a complaint against me. Because the government cannot participate in the presidential election because his party did not comply with the election of 2014 because they did not be 2%. It's true. The LPP did not attain 2% of the total for their uh, 1.58%. But he read the law halfway. They should have asked us a sound lawyer to read the law to It says so that if you don't, if the party does not get 2% of the total votes. But then there's a second message, and they're not we in a legislative seat. Then the party will be powerful to the two subsequent elections. But LPP in 2017 won a legislative seat in my GB. Ellen Otto Ray is, I mean, won the election on the LPP team. So the law went further to say in the second section of the law. Section 5.A1 of bars people from participating in the election do not get 2%. is not applicable to any party that has a city president or a city lawmaker. So you file a complaint. And normally I would send my lawyer by one day to become a teacher to teach what the law seems to him. So this morning, we won the case, the case was dismissed, they took time, even though you're not, not qualified because one of the law, only political parties and candidates should actually object under the procedure and the rules. It's not civil society. So I just need to announce you, my friends and children, I'm always here with you, that victory for LPP has begun. We won the first case. 
Let me also announce that tomorrow we'll have a broom parade beginning on Broad Street near Duval. We'll the parade through Broad Street. we we'll take Johnson Street, we'll go down uh, and get on Ashman Street and we'll come to the National Shrine, the Providence Baptist Church tomorrow, and we we'll deliver speech there. Asking God to guide the library to the front right. So that the dream of 1847, that Liberia, the first independent country in Africa, will be a shiny example to the rest of humanity that black people are capable of governing themselves for all the reasons. A dream that I remain elusive because of greed, selfishness, lack of patriotism, that has marred the image of Liberia to the extent that today Liberia is the tenth poorest country in the world even though it has abundance of natural resources. We are suffering, we are a poor country because of the poverty of good leadership. This is the void that we want to fill. Tomorrow is the beginning to for Liberia poor, to show to the rest of the world that they are they opposed corruption. So all those who are opposed to corruption are invited to join the parade tomorrow. If you don't join, then you are for corruption. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. We'll be part of the rally tomorrow. Thank you very much. Oh, okay, that's it. Amen. Continue with the political discourse.